my dear students uh, today we will start uh, third part of chapter 2 class 10 science the chapter name you know all of, all of you that is acid base and salt so today is the third part as well as it is the final part of the chapter so today what we have to discuss now these major points are there today we will discuss some salts which are coming in our everyday life which are very much useful in our everyday life that salt uh, something we have to discuss like salt number one sodium hydroxide salt number two bleaching powder salt number three baking soda salt number four washing soda and another is there that is called the plaster of paris because of the um, shortage of marker because lockdown going on market is closed so my all the markers you see all the markers they are no ink so useless now so i am so helpless to provide you the continuously coaching system so anyway today i arrange one marker and i i am starting to provide you one more class so let us see first sodium hydroxide this is a salt this is basic salt so sodium hydroxide we have to see what is its chemical formula NaOH sodium hydroxide its chemical name also sodium hydroxide now let us see how it is prepared it is prepared by a process known as the chlor alkali process what is the process chlor alkali process now what raw materials are required for this uh, preparation let us see sodium chloride which is known as the common salt it is taken in the form of the brine aqueous solution of sodium chloride then water then electrolytic cell this is a electrolytic cell i have drawn the figure electrolytic cell where we have to take the brine and we have to go for the electrolytic decomposition so that we will get the product sodium hydroxide now we will come what happens in this process we have to just discuss the preparation of uh, sodium hydroxide by chlor alkali process in this process we have to take brine brine means what this is the aqueous solution of sodium chloride common salt with water that is called the brine and this brine is taken into the electrolytic cell through this inlating pipe this is the inlating pipe through which we will pass the brine into the electrolytic cell the electrolytic cell consists of electrolytic tank and two electrodes one is con connected to the positive end of the battery another is connected to the negative end of the battery positive end electrode is known as the anode whereas negative charge electrode is known as the cathode now what we have to do when brine is taken inside the electrolytic tank and if we provide the electric current the brine sodium chloride with water that will decompose that will split in the presence of electricity and due to splitting of sodium chloride NaCl the NaCl will split into NaCl will split into Na plus and Cl minus two ions positive ions and negative ions that is cations and anions similarly the water present in the brine H2O will split into H plus and OH minus that is also cations and anions so in this way when it will split into the ionic form positive charge and negative charge then they will move towards their opposite charge electrode you see now this is the negative charge electrode that is called the cathode which is sodium plus sodium plus ion that is sodium ion and hydrogen ion will move to the cathode whereas the negative ions like chlorine ions and hydroxide ions that they will move toward the positive electrode that is anode so in this way the three products will be formed one is known as the chlorine gas another is known as the hydrogen gas another is known as the sodium hydroxide 
Sodium hydroxide is the major product in the chlor alkali process. Sodium hydroxide, major product, then hydrogen gas and chlorine gas. So, three products are formed in this process. Let us see their uses. Hydrogen gas, which is liberated at the anode, this is called, uh, sorry, at the cathode. Hydrogen gas, which is liberated at the cathode, it is used as fuel. Hydrogen gas is generally used for the industrial fuel. It is a very good calorific, it is a very good calorific value. Then, it also prepare for ammonia, NH3, ammonia preparation. Ammonia preparation in the fertilizer industry. Then the chlorine gas which is liberated at the anode, that is used for the treatment of water bodies like swimming pool, water tank, etc. And used for the disinfectant, generally in bathroom, in toilet, we drains, we use the bleaching, that is sodium hydroxide disinfectant chlorine, then for making the pesticide, CFCS, etc. These are the use of the chlorine. Then the main major product which we obtain by the chlor alkali process is sodium hydroxide. This sodium hydroxide use a R for making the detergent, soaps, paper, degreasing metals. For this purpose, sodium hydroxide is used. What do we mean by degreasing metal? Means metals which are um, containing the oily or greasy materials, they are clean by using the sodium hydroxide, so they can be cleaned, oily, greasy metals can be cleaned, so that is called the degreasing metals. So these are the uses of the various product obtained by the chlor alkali process. This is first compound known as the sodium hydroxide is over. Similarly, we will go to the another compound known as the bleaching powder. The bleaching powder, chemical formula is CaOCl2. CaOCl2. Its chemical name is calcium oxychloride. Ca for calcium, O for oxy, Cl2 chloride. Calcium oxychloride. Now, similarly, we have to go what is the process by which bleaching powder is prepared in the industry? The process is known as the Hassel Clever process. And the industry is known as the or the power plant where the bleaching powder is prepared is known as the Batchman's plant or Hessen Clever plant. Now, raw materials required for manufacturing of bleaching powder. What are the CaOH2 that is calcium hydroxide that is known as the slug lime, dry slug lime, then chlorine gas. So, two raw materials are required one is dry slug lime and another is chlorine gas. So, the in the batchman's plant, the dry slug line is put in the topmost cylinder, and this is allowed to pass into the downmost downward cylinder. And from the downward cylinder, the chlorine gas is introduced, which get mixed with the incoming slug line. So, in this way, the slug line get uh, saturated with the chlorine gas and finally the super saturated slug lime with chlorine gas is known as the bleaching powder which is collected at the bottom and is fed in the airtight container. Now let us see what are the properties of the bleaching powder. The bleaching powder property means it is alloys white powder. It is a white powder with pale alloys color and giving the chlorine like smell. Then the various uses of the bleaching powders are for, it is used for bleaching cotton, then linen, wood pop, then wools also. All these fibers are um, bleached with the uh, what you call that is bleaching powder. Then it is also used as the strong oxidizing agent. By providing bleaching powder, by reacting bleaching powder with some other compound. The other compound get oxidized, so that's why bleaching powder is known as the strong oxidizing agent. And it is also used as the disinfectant uh, to kill the germs and others, and for preparation of the oxygen as well as chlorine gas also. So these are the various gases, uh, uses of bleaching powder. Second compound is over. Now we will come to the third compound. The third compound name is baking soda. The baking soda chemical formula is NaHCO3. Its chemical formula, the chemical formula it is chemical name is sodium hydrogen carbonate. 
Na for sodium, H for hydrogen, CO3 for carbonate. So its chemical name is sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is generally known as the baking soda. Now let us see by what process baking soda is prepared. Baking soda is prepared by a process known as the Solvay process. And the tower where which, uh, baking soda is prepared, that is called the Solvay tower. So process name is Solvay process and tower name is Solvay tower. Now it is a long process. So here what raw materials are used? Sodium chloride, water, carbon dioxide and ammonia gas. These are the raw materials used for making the uh, baking soda. The chemical reaction involved in making baking soda is sodium chloride with water that is called the brine. This is mixed with the carbon dioxide and ammonia gas. Finally, when all this react in the solvay tower, two products are formed. One is known as the sodium hydrogen carbonate NaHCO3. Another is NH4Cl ammonium chloride. So our main product is sodium hydrogen carbonate which is known as the baking soda, sodium hydrogen carbonate. So in this way we can prepare the sodium hydrogen carbonate or baking soda. Let us see what are the uses of this baking soda. So there are various uses but here we have to just uh, go for three uses specially which are uh, generally daily use we uh, prefer it for making baking powder. In our kitchen room baking powders are there. This baking powder is obtained from the baking soda. Baking soda plus tartaric acid mixer is known as the baking powder which is used for the uh, making soft and spongy to the idli, parotta, cake, uh, then breads, etc. in our uh, baking industry as well as in our kitchen room. Then for making antacid, generally when we get stomach pain like that, we take antacid. This antacid is made up of from baking soda. It is a mild base. Then used as soda acid fire extinguisher. Generally in domestic, in um, small sector, we keep a small red color cylinder which is uh, used for the fire fighting purpose. So they are both so baking soda and acid are kept in the different chamber and whenever we need the chamber partition is broken down by the mechanical way and in this way baking soda react with the acid produce the carbon dioxide along with the foams and this carbon dioxide and foam is passed into the burning object like fire which cut off the fresh oxygen to the burning object and fire is extinguished. In this way it is also used, these are the uses. So that is done the, about baking soda. Now we will come another compound is known as the washing soda. Washing soda, its chemical formula Na2CO3 dot 10H2. Its chemical name is sodium carbonate decahydrate. Na2CO3 sodium carbonate. 10 means deca, H2 means hydrate. Uh, sodium carbonate decahydrate. This is in the form of water of crystallization form. Because when any compound is found with certain amount of water molecule, that total compound is known as the water of crystallization form. Now, what raw materials are used? Exactly same raw materials used in the baking soda is used in the preparation of washing soda. They are both the process. It is also prepared by the Solvay process in the Solvay tower. Reaction is exactly same, but only difference is what? When we get the baking soda in this process, after obtaining the baking soda, we get the washing soda. You see, in this process, we do same exactly. We are getting baking soda here. That baking soda is taken here and is heated. When baking soda is heated, it splits into sodium carbonate, water and carbon dioxide. Now, sodium carbonate again treated with 10 molecule of water to get sodium carbonate decahydrate which is known as the washing soda. Same process. Let us see what are the uses. Uses are to soften the hard water. What is hard water? The water where dissolved salt like magnesium and calcium chloride if it is present then it is called the hard water which is not suitable for cleaning, washing 
or laboratory purpose that is he made soft that is a soft soft water by treating with sodium uh, that is called washing soda then in the manufacturing of glass soap and paper also washing soda is used then for domestic cleaning purpose also we use the washing soda all these are known as the uses of washing soda so here we on the board i have done one two three four compound but due to shortage of the space i have left one more compound is known as the plaster of paris the plaster of paris is also another compound its chemical formula is known as c calcium sulfate hemihydrate calcium sulfate hemihydrate caso uh, half h2o this is obtained from one compound known as the gypsum its chemical formula is caso for 2 h2o that is bihydrate now when the gypsum is heated within the temperature of 120 degree celsius then this two molecule of water is lost only half molecule of water is left with the powder that powder containing half molecule of water is known as the plaster of paris the plaster of paris is uh, used for various purposes like your uh, ceiling purpose decoration of the ceilings like fireproof materials tightening air tightening the bottles jars then it is used to special in the medical profession for uh, uh, plastering the fractured bones in the medical profession all these are known as the uses of our plaster of paris so these are the major compound in this chapter which are coming in our everyday life so generally you have to prepare what you have to prepare in the in this 1 2 3 4 and 5 compound so first is known as the what is the chemical formula what is the chemical name then we have to see by what process it is prepared then we have to go what raw materials are required for this and chemical equation involved in the manufacturing that also we have to prepare then if process is you can prepare it's very good otherwise then you have to go for the what products we obtain that is another product then what uses are there and what are their properties at least three four properties and three four uses we have to go through all these compounds so this is enough about our chapter 2 this is the third part as well as the final part of the chapter 2 so next video we have to go next lesson that is chapter 10 we have to discuss after one so before ending my today's class i request all of you i appeal all of you stay at home till the further notice uh, because we are having under the lockdown system and it is extended up to may 3 may 3 uh, then before that we cannot get make gathering so stay at home stay safe may uh, follow all the precaution all the advice given time to time by our uh, administration our uh, media our other so those who are giving you advice you follow this one and do not uh, try to uh, contact with other person openly take your self and do your duty you do not pass the time just uh, carry out your preparation because after lockdown is over when it will be opened it is infinitely it will continue we cannot say when it will be uh, the school will open then after that you will get very short time so within that time whatever classes are going on that you completely prepare and make yourself ready till the school open okay so thank you everybody and i wish all of your uh, good health thank you very much